Why, hello, everybody. Welcome to week three here in Police Systems. Uh, this will be a brief weekly update, so let me get out of the way and we'll talk about what we've got going on this week. Okay, so this week we're going to be looking at Chapter 3 on Contemporary Law Enforcement Industry in your book. Uh, before you read the chapter in the book or watch the video, please download the exam review so you can start filling in the blanks as you go. It makes it a whole lot easier for you because you will need to submit that as your third exam discussion. And please remember you need to submit both your most um, uh, interesting point you found in the chapter, something new you learned, something of that nature, and your exam review in your original post, not in separate posts. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about follow-ups in just a second. Your quiz is due this week uh, for Chapter 3. Keep in mind that the quiz and video will not be visible until you've made it at least a 70 on Chapter 2 uh, quiz, and you'll need to make a chapter, I mean, make a chapter. You'll need to make a 70 on the Chapter 3 quiz to move on to Chapter 4. Keep in mind that you can increase your grade above that 70 up to a 100 by retaking the quiz as many times as it takes. It shouldn't take too many. The questions stay the same, and there are only 10 of them. So if you miss a question, you go find the answer before you take the quiz again. Uh, you, you know, you'll, uh, you'll, the quizzes are worth the same as a major grade, you know, as a test. So it, it's uh, you know 15% of your final grade. Uh, it can be the difference between an A and a C or a a C and failing the class. So please, you know, um, work on them. You, you can kind of kind of move your move your grade in the right direction. Now the, the last thing you need to do this week is going to be completing the follow-up post to discussion one and two. Going through the discussions, there are a few that aren't following the rules. I've reposted the video on the discussions right here. So you just kind of watch that. Well, hello everybody. If you haven't, um, um, and, and, you know, if, before you ask questions about it, watch the video. It's got pretty much all the answers. So, um, and then also I've posted the rubric that I use to grade it. So it's very simple. Exam review, uh, um, submitting the actual review, depending on how much you complete it, is how many points you get. You get it all complete, 100%, you get 100 points. Or, well, that percentage of the points. 100% of those allowable points, which is 60 points, actually. If you talked about the most interesting topic, then you get 10% um, more added to that grade. And that's an all or none. Whatever you think is most interesting is most interesting, so make sure you do it. And then it's the comments on other students that you need to look at. Uh, did you comment on at least three different answers by students? They, they can be on the same student if they're three different questions or, or three different terms that you're talking about. But you need to make three separate posts on three separate answers that are different than yours. They, um, they have to be, they have to include your answer and they have to include their answer and the answers can't be blank. So just kind of look at that, watch the video and take care of those. And you have to do it for both chapters one and chapter two this week. Now the only other thing I want to talk about is your, uh, let me scroll up here to the exam, uh, research paper tab, your research paper. Um, you've got uh, until the uh, 23rd of the month to, to complete it, so you've got 20 days. Uh, so you need to get to work on that. Uh, at this point, if you haven't completed your interview, you're behind. You need to complete your interview really soon because things can fall through, especially if you're interviewing a police officer that you, you know, they can end up being called away to court, they can end up being called away uh, to work because the departments are short and that's happening a lot with COVID right now. So get your interview done this week without fail uh, and, and you'll be in much better shape. And, um, you know, that's all I've got for you this week. Um, those of you that are uh, up to date, congratulations. A couple of y'all a little bit behind. Start working on catching up. You don't want to get too far behind or you're, you're not going to catch up. If you're behind each week, you you get a late for each week, you're going to fail the course, even if you've done all the material because you're, of the grade reduction. You can't be late. You've got deadlines that you've got to meet, so make sure you do that. And again, the majority of the students are doing that, and um, you know, let's, let's keep up the good work. I'll talk to you again next week.